Hello! What is up mga ka-RGB? Isang makulimlim na umaga sa inyong lahat. So, from what you can see, uh, wala tayong ride for this vlog. And that's because nito mga nakaraang araw kasi mas sama talaga yung pakiramdam ko. Uh, medyo nanghihina ako, masakit ulo ko, tsaka sinisipon ako. So, we decided na wag muna mag-ride para hindi na lumala, makapagpahinga muna. And baka kasi masayang lang yung vlog kung di nyo ako maintindihan dahil sa sipon. And magdutunog mo ng lang ako. So, in this short vlog, I just wanna mention a couple of things. Uh, first off, yung mga upcoming content, yung mga nakaplanong content. And as well as some few announcements na rin na gusto kong iparating sa inyo lahat. So, bago lahat ng yun, magbibigay muna ako sa inyo ng konting background about sa name ng channel. So, as you guys know, ang name ng channel is Nick's RGB. And some people would wonder, but di mo nilagyan ng moto vlog? Bakit RGB? Anong meron dyan? May meaning ba yan or what not? And the short answer is yes. Um, hindi ko siya nilagyan ng moto vlog sa name ng channel because uh, gusto ko maging unique yung pangalan ng channel but more importantly hindi lang yun kasi yung content na gusto kong i-upload so kung meron man sa inyo na talagang sumilip ng lahat ng video na in-upload ko you would probably have an idea but to explain further uh, yung next RGB niyan it's an abbreviation it stands for the three main hobbies na meron ako and those three hobbies are the three types of content na gusto ko sanang i-upload sa channel natin. So, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng quick overview about doon. So, let's start with the R. Of course, R stands for rides. Dito papasok yung pag-moto vlog natin. Mga pinupuntahan natin and what not. Um, it's already July 2021. So, it's exactly two years mula na nag-start ako sa pagmamotor because I actually started July 2019 nung nakuha ko yung Honda PCX so yeah it's exactly two years mula na nag-start ako magmotor I'm happy and proud naman with what I've come so far pagdating sa pagmamotor um, sa lahat ng natutunan ko sa lahat ng napuntahan ko sa motor na gamit ko na ngayon and uh, I think my only regret is sana noong 2019 pa lang nag-start na ako sa pagmamoto vlog but noong time kasi na yun, I was more focused on learning the ropes ng pagmamoto as well as exploring as a whole kasi taong bahay ako eh bago ako natuto magmoto hindi talaga ako lumalabas sa bahay. And more on that later. So even though mentioned ko kanina na tatlong types of content yung gusto ko sanang i-upload sa channel, moto vlog pa rin yung gusto kong primary content ng channel. Like 60 to 80% ng content will be about moto vlogs. So yung mga nakasubscribe sa atin for the moto vlog, huwag kayong magalala kasi yun pa rin naman yung magiging primary content natin. So tulad ng sabi ko sa inyo in one of my previous content, um, yung pag-moto vlog, I plan to do it at least once a week. Napaka-rare na siguro na makapag-upload ako ng dalawang moto vlog in a week. Kasi I do have my primary job. So, for the most part, moto vlogging would be once a week. Siyempre, I do my best naman to be consistent with the upload schedule. Unless nga may mga gantong scenarios wherein masama yung pakiramdam ko. Um, it's probably going to stay like this until lumaki yung YouTube channel, ma-monetize tayo, and it becomes a reliable source of income, I would have to see kung gagawin ko siyang full-time pag dumating yun. Pero hindi ko muna yung iniisip, malayo pa yun. Pero, sinishare ko lang sa inyo yung plano ko for the mode of vlogging content sa channel na to. So, moving on to the G, dun sa RGB, sa name ng YouTube channel, and that is gaming. Ever since I was a kid, 
hobby ko na talaga ang gaming. I'm really a gamer at heart. Naalala ko, my first console was a Sega. Although hindi kami nagtaroon ng family computer, I was able to try it out. Tuwing pupunta ko sa mga friends ko. And, um, ito talaga yung pinakaunang hobby ko. Bago ako nagtaroon ng motor, most of my money, ginagamit ko pang upgrade ng PC. And ginagamit ko pang bilhin ng games. I'm actually collecting video games. Medyo humupa lang siya ngayon kasi sa pagmamoto vlog nila pupunta. Alam niyo naman, investment ng pagmamoto vlog. Pero, yes. This is another type of content na gusto kong i-upload sa YouTube channel. But I don't want to do it alone. Right now, bumubuo ako ng team para makasama ko sa paggawa ng gaming content, live streams, highlights, recorded videos, and whatnot. And, um, I'm still thinking kung dito ko rin ba siya i-upload sa channel or if I'm going to create another YouTube channel that is dedicated for gaming. Um, you can leave your comment down below on what your opinion would be. Kung magugustuhan nyo ba yun o hindi. Then, respeto ko naman yung opinion nyo and probably gagamitin ko rin yung factor in making a decision. So, tara. Pakilala ko tayo yung sa gaming PC ko. So, yung PC niyan, that's where I play video games, that's how I connect with friends, that's how I surf the net, that's how I edit the moto vlogs, that's how I upload the moto vlogs. May way din ako para kumita ng extra dyan gamit yung PC niyan, which involves cryptocurrency. And really an important part sa buhay ko kasi it serves a lot of purpose. Lalo na kasi nag-start na rin ako mag-moto vlog and medyo high-end yung specs niyan malaking pera talaga yung ginastos ko dyan so dahil mataas yung specs yung PC niyan any game that I buy na laro ko with maximum settings but most importantly dahil mataas yung specs niyan hindi ako nahihirapan sa pag edit kasi yun yung problem ng ibang vloggers eh. if they really want to produce high quality content they're really going to need a PC. Especially a, a PC with high specifications. So, naging advantage sa akin yun na medyo dyan napunta yung pera ko dati. And I plan to create more content with it. Nag-enjoy naman ako sa paggawa ng content. And I can't wait na makapag-create na rin ng gaming content with the team na binubuo ko. So the last type of content that I want to upload is the B in the RGB and the B stands for band or banda. So natuto ako magbanda back in high school and natuto ako maggitara back in high school. And I was actually a vocalist. So ever since I was a kid, uh passion ko na rin ang singing. Mahilig talaga ako sa music even as a kid. Uh fan na fan ako ng boy band ng Westlife. Karamihan sa mga kanta niyan, kabisado ko pa. Huwag ka. So, uh, may ilig talaga ako kumanta even when I was a kid. And my relatives would say, ang galing-galing mo naman kumanta, binabola nila ako and whatnot. Siyempre, as a kid, na napa-flatter ako. And talagang tinuloy ko. I, I, I would always practice singing. And naging hobby ko rin siya talaga, even as a kid. You know? So, dumating yung high school and yung mga kaklase ko marunong mag-gitara ako, hindi. So, nagpaturo ako, natuto ako mag-gitara and bumuo kami ng banda. Every time there was an opportunity, sumasali kami ng Battle of the Bands. For the most part, hindi naman kami super competitive. As long as makapag-perform kami, as long as naririnig namin yung mga taong naghihiyawan, nag enjoy sa music namin. As long as we would rock that stage, okay lang kahit hindi manalo. 
masaya kami na nakapag-perform kami at naaliw yung tao sa amin. So, nagpatuloy yun. Um, kahit na nag-work na ako, every time may company event, syempre, nang wala pang COVID, every time may company event na they would involve some type of battle of the bands, uh, I would get people from the company, ito na, buo tayo banda, tagtag tayo. And, Super, super passion ko rin talaga ang music. To the point na doon sa bahay nila, mom and dad, uh, may space doon na parang ginawa ko studio. So, I bought musical equipment. Siyempre, nandiyan yung acoustic guitar ko, yung electric guitar. Bumili rin ako ng kahon or beatbox. Bumili ako ng dalawang mic stands, dalawang magandang microphones. Bumili rin ako ng drum set. Um, the only thing I was lacking na lang is yung bass guitar and kumpleto na sana siya for the most part um, sadly hindi na umabot sa point na yun hindi na ako nakabili ng bass guitar kasi ayun there, there was gaming as a hobby there was pagmamotor as a hobby so gusto ko mga makompleto na yun makabili na ng bass guitar hindi na umabot doon and Ah, uh, pakita ko sa inyo yung picture ng studio. So, recently binenta ko na yung drum set kasi nag-iipon na lang siya na alikabok. Hindi naman ako makapag-invite ng mga kaibigan, mga kabanda kasi COVID. Alam niyo naman. So, although wala na yung drum set, at least nandoon pa yung kahon or yung beatbox. So, kung pala rin na makapag-invite ng friends or ng mga kabanda, pwede pa rin naman tumugtog acoustic, you know, while while drinking and having fun. Um, sa tatlong types of content, ito yung pinakamalabo for now. Hindi ko muna siya masyadong iniisip, hindi ko muna siya masyadong pinaprioritize. Pero, in the future, in the future, definitely. So, yung content about sa pagbabanda, hindi ko muna siya priority. Focus muna ako sa moto vlogging and then slowly but surely I'll be creating gaming content na rin. Whether it be on this channel or another channel, um, I will have to see. I'll make that announcement naman kung sakali. Uh, the content about pagbabanda or music, hindi ko muna siya masyado iniisip. One step at a time tayo. So yun, uh, na-mention ko na sa inyo yung three types of content na Plano ko sanang i-upload sa channel na to nung binuo ko tong channel na to. And uh, we will still have to see how things go. Pero definitely, sisimulan ko na yung gaming content. So, let's move on to the announcements na sabi ko sa inyo kanina. So, number one is collaboration. I'm open and considering motovlogging collaboration. So, um, if you're interested, my pag-collab dito sa channel ko, especially, especially kung bago moto vlogger ka lang din, I'm very open for that. Pag-usapan natin yan. It would be best kung medyo nasa NCR ka lang para hindi malayo. It doesn't matter kung anong motor gamit mo, whether mababa or mataas na displacement yan. It doesn't matter. Hindi yun yung factor na hinahanap dito. Pero I want to do this para may mutual gain yung channel ko at yung channel mo magtutulungan tayo na ma-reach yung monetization goal magiging open ako about yan so second is yung na-mention ko kanina which is yung gaming content so nabanggit ko kanina na bumubuo ako ng team and from the term itself hindi pa kompleto yung team so if you're also a PC gamer and you have a passion for gaming and you're interested in joining the team magiging open din ako to to get people na isasali sa team. So, skill is not a requirement pagdating din sa gaming content. Uh, mas importante sa amin yung yung personality and yung character ng mga ina-recruit namin for the team. Um, Siyempre, pasok na rin dun yung marunohang makisama. Kasi nga, it will be a team will be creating content as a team. There's really no hard requirement for joining. Uh, probably a quick interview and siguro 
or have to play with you with a couple of games to see kung how well you bond with others, how well you play with others. Just to set lang din yung expectations sa mga maging interested once we find a game na maganda stream or maganda gawa na content, the team will have to purchase it. Siyempre, hindi natin yun manalaro kung hindi natin bibilin unless it's free to play. So, may mga times talaga that you will have to purchase the game as well along with the team para malaro natin para makapag-create tayo na content about that. So, if you're interested in the mode of vlogging collaboration or dun sa gaming content team na binubuo ko, I'll be leaving my contact email down below. You can contact me there. Um, you don't have to send a resume. Hindi ako HR. Uh, simple details lang, like what, you, what are you interested in, name, or contact details para mas makapag-usap tayo, para mas makapag-usapan natin. So, sa mga bagong subscribers, welcome to the channel. Sobrang na-appreciate ko yung pag-subscribe nyo. And, uh, there's definitely more exciting things to come. More exciting uploads and content. So, stay tuned lang kayo. And, hindi tayo ditigil sa pagsisikap and sa pagbibigay ng content na may enjoy na lahat. And that being said, ang nandito na lang yung vlog ko. Sorry kasi wala tayong ride for this week. Ipulit kong gumaling na para makapag-ride na tayo next week to Lambingan Hills. And I'll be ending the vlog here. So, maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanonood ng vlog na to. Super na-appreciate ko kayo lahat. Once again, this is Nick. Signing out.